unit of production method it is also known as unit of output method it is a basically depreciation method in which we will charge the depreciation expense to fix asset we will use the following formula to calculate the depreciation expense under unit of the production method the depreciation rate is equal to cost of an asset minus residual value over estimated unit of output the depreciation expense is equal to depreciation rate multiplied with output units let me explain this method with the help of an example let's say an equipment has value is 22000 residual value is equal to 2000 estimated output is 1 lakh useful life is 4 years the year we have the 4 years the unit of produce in this year is 30000 in first year 27000 in second year 23000 in third year and 20000 in fourth year we need a depreciation rate depreciation rate is equal to cost of an asset minus residual value over estimated output we will get the depreciation rate for 20 per unit we will multiply the state with the unit of output produce then the depreciation expense will equal to then we will multiply 30000 with 0.2 is equal to 6000 27000 will multiply with 0.20 we will get 5400 and third year we will get 4600 and Four year we will get four thousand. If we will add these all numbers, we get one thousand for the unit of output. And if we will add the depreciation expenses. We will get the twenty thousand. Here is accumulated depreciation and a book value. Accumulated depreciation in first year is six thousand. We will add six thousand. and 5400 in year 2 we will get the accumulated depreciation expense is equal to 11400 then we will add in year 3 depreciation expense with the accumulated depreciation balance we will get the accumulated depreciation in year 3 is Sixteen thousand, and year four is twenty thousand. 
the book value in year 1 is equal to cross of an asset 22000 minus 6000 we will get 16000 same step we will repeat in year 2 22000 less 11400 we will get the cumulative operation 10600 and same again 6000 and when we will subtract 22000 minus 20000 we will get the book value is 20000 the book value must be equal to residual value if this amount is not coming in last year is equal to residual value then there must be something wrong let's say i say the in year 4 is we produce 22,000 units instead of 20,000 units. Then, in this situation, we will get the depreciation expense for forty-four hundred. Then we will add in accumulated depreciation. Then the total amount will come twenty thousand four hundred. And the book value in year four is equal to minus sixteen hundred. This book value is less than the residual value. Then in this situation, what we will do? In this situation, we will do only in this way, we will subtract the residual value from the book value. and the put the amount in the year 4 calculation six thousand minus two thousand equal to four thousand we will charge the depreciation expense in year 4 if in this case the we will getting the higher amount of depression if we will multiply with these units but we cannot charge it higher amount the depreciation uh, depreciation in year 4 we will only charge the depreciation in which the book value of the asset must be equal to the residual value in last year if it is not coming is equal to last year then we will follow in this way to charge the depreciation expense if you do not understand this point you will must watch again this video and if still you are confusing this point then you will comment below i will explain it